Uh oh. Uh oh. A sneak preview of something to come? I think you might have another versus in mind. Bow. Bow. That's right. Coming up next month. Riot. Month. This month, month is almost over. And so is our giveaway. It ends at midnight tonight. So if you're not in it, hurry up and join in. I'll tell you more about how to do it later. Mm -hmm. We decided to come the back way and run a little side errand. And uh, then get home pretty quick because I've got ice cream in the back of the car. And I do not want it to melt. But I am telling you, it's cold. It is actually kind of cold out. Our car says it's 50. But that wind feels a lot colder than 50, doesn't it, Chris? <laughs> yep. There is something that isn't going to wait for tomorrow, at least. What? Look at that what a pretty blue color that is. That is blue as all get out. Chris, and Chris drank his already. Well. He actually likes. If you're wondering what that was you just saw, it's a nice cold bottle of Mountain Dew Summer Freeze. Nobody spoil anything. How could they? Because he's trying to do, do it. It's supposed to taste like a bomb. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> he is very tactical right in. Uh, my videos, my channel, shush me. I pinch his little head right off. <clears throat> I'd pay a big money to see that. It tastes like a mom's broken dreams mixed with bomb pop. <laughs> Where the reason her dreams are broken, lol. Shattered beyond repair. Train. Ben's like, let's pull over and watch it. Yeah, let's. No. Yeah, let's. <laughs> You're never going to be evil. Yeah. I decided to come all this way out here just to get my mom some french fries. Uh -oh. She loves their french fries at City Barbecue. And to be honest, if I had my way, I would get you guys a City Barbecue gift card to try it out for our giveaway. But sadly, I know it's not everywhere and most of you don't have access to one. But if you ever get the chance, they make killer french fries. I would love to see how they make their chicken tenders though. Yeah, they're $10 in order for chicken tenders, so I'm not getting any. And over to our right, all right, out my window, is everybody's favorite place, Shoots. Except for like me and Chris. Well, that's because they're nobody. Our heart. Ball like sheets is not my favorite place. Ball like. See, yeah, see, like. yeah, but see. It's not his favorite. It's everybody's favorite. And if I have one friend of the month again, I'm gonna get sheets for one. Just to make your brother jealous. Just to make all my friends jealous. I'm gonna get the biggest order wings money can buy. Mod sticks and a drink. <laughs> Asian spice wings. Too. Why don't you make them go to City Barbecue and get you the chicken tenders? I don't think there's one Lewis Center, is there? Uh, I don't think so. There has to be some place to get to a Lewis Center. Well, I don't know. You'd have to look it up. <laughs> and here we go. <laughs> and the phone's basically bouncing oh, to it. Somebody wanted Toronto's pizza. They had to explain to them that it's on Polaris. They can't leave. Lewis Center for a friend of month one. It's a bummer though. Was it you? No. Rip. It I was think... Nicole's neighbor, <laughs> Carwin. Uh, I think I'm going to get a fry and I'm going to get mom a basket of fries. I've never seen this many people here before. This is not a cheap place to eat, is it? No. Not even close. 
we had, love their barbecue sauce. I was going to say, we had a bottle of their regular original barbecue sauce. Bonnie gave it to us. It was too spicy for her. I don't even see how that happened, but... Um, did you buy it here? She did, yeah. And uh, we used it on some chicken the other night to make barbecue chicken sandwiches. That was good chicken. I would have preferred it on the hot ones. They accidentally gave me Nashville hot tenders here the other day. My tongue is still burning. Let's hot. see how much a bottle of that barbecue sauce is. Thank you for choosing City Barbecue. How are you doing tonight? Hi, fine, thank you. Good. Can I get a name for the order? Laird, L-A-I-R-D. Perfect. What can I get for you today? Okay, I need a side of hush puppies. Okay. A side of fries. Hold on one second. What was it again? I'm sorry. A side of fries. Okay. And a basket of fries. So can you give me the the whole order again? Yeah, a basket of fries, a side of fries, and a side of hush puppies. All right, anything else? No, I think that's it. All right, so just a basket of fries and order of fries and a side of hush bottle. puppies. Could you repeat that? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're fine. So I have an order of the basket of fries, a side order of fries, and then a side of the hush puppies. Right. Perfect. Anything else? Uh, no, but I would like to know how much your bottles of barbecue sauce are. They are $4.99. Okay, great. That's it then. All right, $12.77 out the window. Get us out some moolah, Chris. Now you boys know it's five dollars. That's not too bad for a bottle of barbecue sauce. How many do you want? Twelve. Something? I need thirteen dollars. You can either give me thirteen or a twenty. Twenty dollars is easier. So we went to get root beer at the first McDonald's today. They didn't have it. They didn't have it. So we went to get root beer at another McDonald's. They didn't have it. I ended up getting coke. It's like, why is there a nationwide root beer shortage? It must be if you have IBC as your root beer. Anyway, guys. So, so yeah, Kissy Fur ended up having the very reason why he's this close to being disowned. He's Are you this. Saying I'm disowned because I drink Coke. No, I'm saying you're this close to being disowned because he drank Kaka Kuku. It's Coca-Cola, man. That's what I say, Coca-Cola. Anyway. We're Pepsi drinkers in this household. Apparently not all of us. I do prefer it, though. So, what you got coming up this week, Chris? Mm. Bowling's Wednesday. Are you going to be doing it for soup? No, normal bowling league stuff, Ben. What was their song I liked? 1985. Thank you. Of course I'm still preoccupied with 1985. Here I graduated from high school. It's such I a shame. a tender young thing. But I'm fine. It is such a shame that mom is still preoccupied with 1985. It's just not cool anymore. Oh, this one goes out to Bonnie. Bonnie, this one's for you. You can try hard, or you can try soft. Love's baby soft. Remember that? Mm -hmm. That counts as your quote for the day, Mom. I sang it. Now, Bonnie was getting into the little bath beads and the um, Bay City rollers and all that that I was talking about last night. Mm -hmm. She said all you needed was Love's baby soft, which I remember very well. So I thought I'd throw in their little theme song. What? We still haven't figured out how the CD changer here works because mom's a little cagey about working it. Well, not a lot of videos running. Well, I pushed the buttons. It doesn't do anything. Because he doesn't know how. Yeah, I have to fuck so much I don't know what to do, right? 
Is that from Bob's Burgers? What? On the back of that car. I Pink can't tell. Thing. Is it a poorly drawn cartoon kid in a blue bunny hat? No, it's pink bunny ears with hair. If it's a fud that covers most of the hair, it is. Mom, what if I was blue? What, honey? I'm checking real quick. Hang on. What did you say you had coming up this week? Bowling. It's not the color of the character, but it kind of looks like a Bob's Burgers caricature. They have a bunch up here on the other side, on the top. Those are definitely characters of Bob's Burgers characters. That's what I thought. Who likes Bob Bur Bob's Burger that much? I'm, I don't like it. I watched one episode. I hated it. Never watched another. Mom watches it. I'm she watches one. it in Family Dad. Family Guy, American Dad. Family Guy and American Dad and The Simpsons. She likes her cartoons. What, buddy? I don't know why she watches it. It's felt with too much toilet humor for my face. It's just, it's just not for me. I used to watch American Dad. I'm pretty sure why the real restaurant that inspired it closed down because they're too embarrassed to be associated with it. Mm -hmm. That's my belief. I used to watch um, Family Guy back when it was funny. And then they had to push that agenda. You can say it. It doesn't matter. Yeah, they had to, and then Seth MacFarlane figured there wasn't enough atheist content on the show. So he made Brian lose all of his character and become an atheism mouthpiece. Yeah, I just, I don't need that in my life. Do you? Yes, I get it. Some people just don't believe in, well, anything really. And I think that's sad. But you don't have to believe. And you don't have to pretend to believe. And you can have an atheist show if you want. I don't care. Really don't care. It's kind of like but how... But that doesn't mean I'm going to watch it. It's kind of like how the group Slayer had a history of having music that had a sort of a satanic bend, but they're not themselves Satanists. Yeah. You heard, right, Mom? Yeah, but they're going to burn for that. I'm sorry they are. Well, anyway. Why don't you get a picture? Say hi. This, I wish we had smell of it. It smells so good. Yeah. The city barbecue staff at work. Yep. You are horrible people, you two. Why? You're filthy people at work. If I were blog about that. Right. 720. Thank you. I got some unscanned receipts okay, on me already. Girl. Send that to Grizzle for. Okay, Chris. Money receipt change. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, Chris. Chris. You too. You gotta see these. This is what their french fries look like. How beautiful are those? And I'm going to eat those on the way home. You know how you talked about family guys? Goes these are from a puppies. good show to a bad show because what's up the far with it? There they are. Look. Woof. Hush, puppy. I know of another show that went so far down the political plot is a band TV show. Yeah? Basically, this show was a 3D claymation so it fall cartoon off. Thank you. that started off exploring Christianity in a positive light. I got it. But as the story goes, the creators started doing pot <laughs> and they wrecked the show by exploring the dark side of the Catholic Church. And they started putting in plots associated with pedophilia, priests, and stuff like that. And it got banned like... What the show is this? The show was called Moral Oral. Mm, I heard of that. Yep. But yeah, if they hadn't done pot, it would have stayed positive. But they did pot. And, um, I don't think pot different. makes you negative. Pot yeah. doesn't really make anyone anything other than high. 
I'm not saying they went down negative. Some of the stuff they went was way out laying their, their plot. So it took a negative undertone, but executed very poorly, like they were too high to execute it right, you know? Okay, who's got a quote for today? I got one. Here it is. Do 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 do. <laughs> I don't know if I should do this quote. <coughs> Too late. No shit, Sherlock. I always wanted to do that quote. Oh, Mom. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Apparently, Mr. Potato Head was acting up. <laughs> Why is that? Because they cooked him up and I'm eating him. Hmm. Or one of his kids got on, on the side of the wall. <coughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe. The comment. That's how you enter our video. Yep. And if you do want to see this video, the comment you're going to do. The mom picks it. What it's you what your favorite place is. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. But you haven't done place before. Like. Self-explanatory. Drop a like on this video. Or else. It really does help my channel a lot. It does. So even if you're already entered and you're just watching it, it would really help me if you would hit, hit a like on it too. The more likes our videos get, the stronger our presence on YouTube's algorithm. Uh-huh. Also, um, comment even if you've already entered because that really helps. They call that engagement, and that really bumps me up. So, yeah, the more engagement... John, you always like the videos and you hardly ever comment. Comment. I have spoken. The more... <laughs> oh, like, comment. What you're going to comment today is where would you like the next giveaway gift card to be from? I'm thinking That's Target. I thought so. But I was thinking about Target. Well, I'd get in a lot of trouble with a Target gift card. Mm -hmm. Isn't it a good thing that Kissy Fur can't enter? Share this video on your social media. And we do mean share it. It doesn't matter where you share it, just as long as you do. Mm -hmm. And make sure you're subscribed. And that you live in the lower 48 states. Because I can't do international or Alaska or Hawaii or Puerto Rico. So... In Puerto Rico, the law kind of prevents that, and in Alaska and Hawaii, not many of the places that we would actually be able to do cards for exist in Alaska, as far as I know. And in the case of Hawaii, the, off the offered cards are just not going to get you very far in there, or even Guam. Yeah. So we can't do it to you if you're in Guam, for instance. Now make sure you ring the bell, and this is important, because that'll notify you when we post a video. And you're going to want to know. Especially since I'm going to be announcing the winner on Tuesday. Woo woo. And the contest closes tonight at midnight, so go click if you're going to enter. Yep, it's your last call. Yeah. And I wish everybody could. I really do. That would be so fun to be like Mr. Beast and just be able to give it to everybody. Yeah. Which reminds me, Mom, go enter some Mr. Beast things. Uh, I don't like Mr. Beast very much. I don't like him because he reminds me of your dad. Um, who would post a video where they sell their house for a dollar as a publicity stunt? Okay, like, comment, share, subscribe, and check back because on Tuesday, we're going to be uploading a video that will give the winner away. How exciting. Come on, that'll be fun. Will it be you? Could be. There's not that many people in here this time. Remember, only one of you can win, but you can't win if you don't play. Okay. Anybody got anything to add? I got a secondary thing, man. Okay. If you enter enough of these things and don't win, you always do what a certain mad scientist from one of our favorite movies did. 
can build a giant drill to drill into the center of the earth unless the people pay you $100 billion. I got Dr. Evil in the back seat now. I hope you know. <laughs> okay. Hey, wasn't he the one that actually came up with the plan that he called Preparation H, which is literally named for ass cream? Mm -hmm. That was the laser that, uh, not the laser. It was the laser. Yeah. It was the moon thing, whatever it was. Okay. Enough of Dr. Evil, although the cat rocked. And yeah. um, come see us. And we will talk to you on Tuesday. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.